for documents, papers, evidence about that mushroom plague. If we can bring home mushrooms or some cure. What the hell is that? Alright, um... If it's a ghost, let's bring out the ghost of our own. What are you? Spectral and Poticarius! Oh, what the hell? Die! I hope you'll... I hope... Whoa! Let's... I hope you weren't the ghost of Finn. Come to... Have revenge on me. Hard bread. But if you were, uh, if you were a car boss, I'd be, I wouldn't do sleep. Oh. Right. Well, this it's just undead. Ooh, petal. We can deal with undead. These lost ones aren't the most formidable of enemies. I was afraid that there'd be something new and even more dangerous. Ghost Apothecaries. Well, for starters, we have three memory points that we can use to unlock. So I think it might be uh, prudent for us to use them. So we have three. We can take this, this expert of dark arts and dropping blood. Seems to be very useful. Psionic veil is invisibility. Bone judge. Well, oh, we are fighting. We are fighting undead this time, so maybe. Reduces the mana costs of psionic entropy spells. Psionic veil. Might be useful actually to get in close. What adept spells do we have for revive is adept? That's our only adept spell. And it doesn't cost that much either. But I'm sure we'll find adept level spells eventually. I think we should go to the Sun Temple and find more spells there. So if we do, even if we don't get that, Mystical Call makes our summons last longer, which is not that useful, but 
so we can get up to expert which way we don't have experts level spells anyway so a bone charge 30% more effective against undead which is actually not bad let's take psionic veil let's take bone judge we can take expert abyss light casting and tropic blood we want that let's take that as well have a new talent now. Psionic Veil. We no longer use meditate, uh, focus. Not really using it. Or even Tempest. Which doesn't seem to matter much. And we can take off meditation because we're not using it as in the middle of battle, so... to call upon the revive 15 all right all right here how long does it last five seconds but how long is the cooldown I want to know Did it last very long, but well. Does it affect our other dimensional rift? Well, we can use dimensional rift. All right. All right. So strong. You're just Ooh, silver sword. Your apothecaries, you're not supposed to be that strong. Right. It's just too dark.
damn you! They are really strong. It's not helping that we have a damn glowing light above our heads. Just faking their fourth carries. Guess you really get more powerful when you die, eh? And they're very well armed. I'm hoping we've already killed them all, but there are always more enemies lurking around. Who knows? Very nice laboratory. Rune dagger of ambush. Taking that. That is weird. All right, what's this? Nothing of consequence, I guess. All right. Lots of neat looking stuff, but not really anything useful. Ice elementals seem to work best against them. Is there any more of them? Don't think I should sneak when I have a glowing light above my head. It's just silly. Is there no more enemies? Apparently we may have killed them all. Awesome. All right. Research papers. The on Enderal to this date, unknown species of fungus multiplied astoundingly swiftly in the buckets of the laboratory of Fortress Fogwatch. The trader was already mindful of whether the spores even survived a long storage time, hence the cheap price. Now I planted the first colony in a by rocks protected 
corner of the nearby woods to study the growing cycle in the wild. Therefore, let's get to the actual research report. Freitas, 16 of departure, 8165 after starfall. Externally viewed, the mushrooms can be distinguished in a reddish to purple and a bluish to cyan type, whereby they are male and female characteristics. A thin stem bears the fruiting body, which is depending on how many nutrients are present in the nearby ground, spread flat or tapered. In the later stage, the stem lignifies to support the increasing weight of the fruiting body. A female shroomling with blue and cyan coloring can, in the highest phase of its growth, become a vastly taller than a troll. It is amazing that the rather thin stems are this sturdy. In its mature form, elongated threads sprout out of the lamellae filled underside of the fruiting body, carrying the fungal spores within them. During maturity, they are rippled on top of the generally surrounding smaller male mushrooms which are also discarding spores. From this combination arises a new mother shroom again. It is safe to assume that the wind or roaming animals will play a part in scattering the female and male spores in a large perimeter, which is why new colonies could rapidly spread in the wilderness. We have to keep an eye on it to prevent an uncontrollable proliferation. It appears this is the biggest part of the mushroom mass is on the surface. However, appearances are deceiving. A root-like mesh pervaded through the ground. This is actually the true mushroom as the excrescence that is piercing through the surface and growing upwards simply serves propagation. The brightly gleaming root mesh seems to be able to digest almost every living thing, be it animals, plants or other mushrooms. Oh, that's 20 of departure, 8.65 after starfall. During my last walkabout around my open environment arranged plantation, I can even note that the nearby tree was infested by the mushrooms. Parasitic purple glowing veins move from the roots across the bark up to the branches. It is truly eerie how far the mushroom roots must have grown underground. I will return in a few days to investigate how the different poisons with which I sprinkled the surrounding fertile soil have taken effect. To then report on this plague with the most potent poisons I should be able to destroy the remaining mushrooms with ease. Our employer, the noble woman from the house Dalminas, will be most impressed when I, as most able and courageous apothecary, successfully fought these extraordinary mushrooms. Turned as 23. It is unbelievable the most potent poisons that showed effect in the laboratory of Fogwas seem to have absolutely no effect outside. On the opposite, my arranged hidden mushroom plantation is now no longer hidden but already visible from the wayside. Additional trees were infested as well. I'm such a fool to have immediately. I have to con immediately continue the research before my employer and the rest of the apothecary catch on to my practices. Sundas 26 of departure. Who am I kidding? It was all in vain. My arrogance is costing me and my descendants everything. The mushrooms have developed into an unstoppable plague. My experiment has not yet been linked with the outbreak. However, I'm losing everything that is important to me. My son will not be able to follow my footsteps. I will flee with him so he he may not bear the blame of my failure in the future. I'm also losing my health. My body decomposes. I inhale the spores of these terrible mushrooms for far too long. Firinja Dalminas, my dearest love, I will never be able to look in your eyes again. I created this disaster to impress you because I thought I could tame it, thought I could be a hero, yet I was deluded. The mushrooms are vastly more powerful. And I could have imagined. They pervade the earth, contaminate the water, pollute the air. Even the weather seems to bend down to it and protects them with a thick cloud layer against the sun, which was my last hope to dry them out. I'm sorry that we had to flee my son. I'm sorry, Firinja, that my love to you made me blind, blind to my failure. I'm sorry for every living being which will fall victim to the infested part of the woods. I'm so dreadfully sorry. <sighs> 
the things you do for love. As always, what a mushroom sample. What a horrible misery you are, love. Right, let's get these samples. Maybe we can salvage something from this. These mushrooms are far too dangerous to be just handled lightly. We could take them to the Sun Temple, so proper apothecary can take care of them, but we did promise to old man Baal. Maybe we can just give the journal to Baal so he could have his resolution and give the mushroom samples to the Sun Temple. I don't know. Alright. Is there anything else we need to do here? I don't want to stay here any longer. We might... There might still be dangerous traces of the spores all right let's get out of here oh shit ha huh. rune sword very nice. And there's another one over there. And apparently we have to... Oh, we have to get two to you. Hey, you. Do we have dimensional rift? Yes, we do. could teleport away, but I'm curious as to what else we could find here. Attack him. Right. 
protection from shock. That could have been useful. Dead end. I do hope that there's a point to this. Shit. Uh, right. uh, I guess Ice Elemental is a bit at all. Damn, you have a lot of health. <sighs> and there's another one over there. Alright. What's that? Alright. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Attack him, please. Oh, damn it. All right. Where were you going? Off for a little walk. All right. This place really. It's a lot larger than uh, I had thought. Enemies so much more dangerous. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ambrosia. I need that. Our fever is really bad. All right. Thank you. Whoa! Look at that! I've never seen a soul gem that big. Selma's wings, what is that? Alright. Go get him. Go get him. I have to look at items. You get him. Oh, ow! Damn it! Bastards! They're really single-minded in their desire to put an arrow into my face. All right. What did we find? Eyes of the North. Slice armor. 5% better prices. It's nice, very nice. 
Selner's wings increases your stamina by 10 points. Can we wear this? We can wear it over everything else. Look at that! This is awesome! Doesn't totally look right with with the rat catcher set, but it it's supposed to be a pair of wings. Makes our stamina a little bit better. It's nice. I like it. All right. Guess that was worth all this crap we're taking. Is there anything here? Come on. Is this an exit? Or just more enemies? More enemies. Back there. Where are you? No, attack. What's with the blue flames? Are these lost one flames? Lost flames? Do the lost ones get warmth from these blue flames? These are questions I need to know. I don't know what these things are. All right. All right. Are going to be rich again if we survive this with all these silver swords. All right. And he spilled all over the books. Alright. Anything. Uh, what the hell? Hmm. Black paper. 
really? Is this increases heavy armor skill, increases melee damage, increases health? Whoa, and it's heavy armor. All right, so what happens now? They look good. Step of the rat catch one handed. Increases melee damage by two points. Health regeneration by six points. Increases health by 14 points. Alright. Not bad, not bad at all. And uh, you can get rid of this. Get rid of the this. All right. I really just need to get out of here. I want to enjoy these treasures. We have two pieces of a new set. This Selna set. Or is it Sena? Looks like a heavy armor set, which is awesome because we are a heavy armor user. Maybe we can find the entire set here. We found two pieces. So we should actually double check to see if uh, we missed any. I mean, uh, we can continue searching as long as we're sure we've pretty much killed everything here. Then we can just leave. <sighs> All right, I knew it. Here's another piece of this new set. Good thing that we found it. Selna's Fists. Two-handed attacks do 8% more damage. Increases your health by 8 points. Stamina regenerate. Two-handed attacks. Hmm. We have Crash. Which actually just blocks the shield which is not that great all right why not we're little by little replacing our armor how do we look well our arms are exposed Maybe if we find the cuirass, it'll be awesome. And we are overburdened, damn it. Okay, let's just... What do we need to get rid of? Let's get rid of these. Steel shoes. Maybe the Karas is here somewhere. I mean, we found three pieces of the set here. So maybe. Silver Sword, Steel. 
So maybe the other pieces are here as well. I'd love to find a cross. Don't want to leave until I've given this place a real one-two. 